Kathy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can find me everywhere online on Ravelry and Instagram as Wooly Chats. It's been a really long time again since I last podcasted. Um, I have two works in progress and two finished objects, which I think is okay considering how long I've been away from YouTube. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, the very first thing that I want to show you is the sweater called Spranra, S-P-A, bottom up color work sweater. I knitted it in June, July, um, on a train when I was going to Oregon and Washington on the Amtrak. So it looks like this. And as you can tell, it needs a lot of fixing. Um, I think that it came out okay. It fits, but the neckline is really, really boat necky and stretchy. Um, and my floats, I guess, are okay for a first time color work. Um, I didn't like the construction at all. I don't like bottom up sweaters, so I won't be knitting this pattern again but it was a learning experience. Um, the other thing too is that this part right here doesn't match up with this part. I couldn't figure out with this part on the bottom. I couldn't for my mind, I couldn't, I can't talk, I'm sorry. I couldn't figure out how to work the chart pattern. So I ripped it out twice and then I started over and then I still made the same mistake on the bottom of the sweater. Um, so then I just went, forget it, I'm gonna just knit it as an experience project. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the color choices. I got, sorry, I had fluff in my nose. I got this, um, sweater pattern and the kit through Knit Picks three years ago, four years ago, so it's been in my stash for a while. I got inspired to do some color work by uh, by Kat from Heather and Hop. So hi, Kat, if you're watching. Um, she does some beautiful color work sweaters, and I was like, okay, I'm inspired. Now it's my turn to try this, and, and uh, I like it. Sorry if I'm looking over here. The camera is over here and not over here. <laughs> so that's that. Um, I did watch a tutorial by engineering knits on youtube on how to put elastic through it to make the um to make the boat i guess the uh the the collar around it not so stretchy i mean not so big but what i'm gonna have to do is rip this out rip the collar out, try and decrease, and probably make it into a turtleneck because when I try it on, it just droops in the back and it's not very flattering look. All that work and it doesn't fit like I want to. Did I gauge swatch? No. Should I have gauge swatched? Yes. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did the stockinette gauge swatch in the round, completely in the round. I didn't cheat like with the floats or anything um but for the color work i didn't swatch in the round i was like oh, okay i got gauge on stock and add on size six and seven or five and six i don't know the needles that i used um six and seven or five and six in u.s needles um so i have to fix that it's not done yet. Oh, and then I found out that this yarn is all super wash yarn, and I'm so sad about it. I thought it was going to be a woolly rustic yarn, but it was a kit. I like the colors, and I like the pattern, so I'm still going to wear it. I'm going to try and steam block the shawl, the shawl, the sweater, uh, and sit so it doesn't grow any longer than it has so it doesn't grow any longer, so it doesn't grow and stretch out as much as it has already pre-blocked. 
but I do like the design here. I think I, I did okay. I think in the pattern you're supposed to carry three colors at a time, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I just did um, two colors the whole way through the sweater. And I think the top part came out nice. Um, and it has the sleeve details here that also came out nice. But the, uh, but the bottom of the sweater, it's not a pattern. It doesn't follow the chart at all. So that's one. My second finished object is the Vedback. Vedback the shawl. But, but this is my version. This is using Briggs and Little. If there's a bend I gotta weave in here. Let's do it this way. There we go. It's using, um, excuse me, I yawned. Um, it's using Briggs and Little Tuffy Worsted. Um, I used two balls of this yarn that I had in my stash. And I like the way it came out. So here it is. And I blocked it. And I'll just wear it like this in the winter time. Another end I have to weave in. So that's all for finished objects that I have. Um, I do have a list that I made of things that I want to knit. Just I'm going to try and stick to this list. And the list came from my Ravelry library, which is where I keep all of my knitting patterns that I want to knit eventually. I think I have um, patterns beyond life expectancy. If that's an acronym that we use in the knitting world, they don't know. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of patterns. So what I'm trying to do is not only knit from my stash, but also knit the patterns that I have printed out because I have notebooks and notebooks and notebooks filled with nothing but printed out patterns of the, over the years that I've been knitting that I've just trying to been trying to been that I've been trying to pull out and pair with my stash yarn. Um, I haven't purchased any new yarn in like three years so I'm going strong so I figured the more yarn that I use the more yarn I can buy later on to buy to use a new project um, I left the other pattern but I'll try and put a picture of the next pattern that I want to knit it's another color work sweater. It's top down this time, which I love the construction of. Top down color work. It's going to be fun. I think it's called the Nord. Nordstrom. I'll put it in down the down bar of what it looks like and the name and probably a picture of what it looks like. Um, so works in progress. I have two. In here, this bag is from A Finch's Nest. I got it off Etsy. She also has a wonderful YouTube channel. I think it's also by the same name, A Finch's Nest. But in here is my recency hat. And I'm using more stash yarn. But this beautiful color here is 100% percent Masham BFL from Emma from the Woolly Mammoth Fibers. I was I got this as a kit a long time ago. I was supposed to knit the tailored beanie, but I didn't want to do that and I wanted to use it for this hat. And I really like the color. It's beautiful and it feels woolly. It's not scratchy. It's really soft. So and I have nothing cast on. I just looked in the bag. It's just in a pretty bag right now. It asks for a twisted rib. But I'm just going to do a German twisted cast on. And a knit through the back loop, purl through the back loop, one by one rib. 
instead of the 2x2 two two rib because I tried the 2x2 two two rib and I didn't like it at all. It looked like terrible. So I ripped it out. So I have, so I'm going to be starting that probably tomorrow or Thursday. So that's the sec first work in progress. Work in progress. The second work in progress is the... Um, so I was watching Nicole from the Gentle Knitter podcast, and she mentioned that Amy Shear from the Thoughtfully Made podcast, or Thoughtfully Creative podcast, I'll put it in the down bar and in the, li and in the screen, um, she came out with this beautiful pattern called the Nicole Shawl for Hinterland yarns, and immediately... I had to, I got it, and I had to uh, knit it for myself. It looks like this. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I started it this morning. I got up super early. And I'm taking my time reading the directions because I have a bad habit of just diving in and not reading directions and then get really frustrated um, with not how it's with how it's turning out if I don't do that. So with this one, I'm taking my time and making it a mindful, relaxing project. I'm using Knit Picks. Knit Picks Wool of the Andes and Sapphire Heather. This is a pretty blue. I've had this in my stash for about three years. And I think I have 20 balls of this yarn. So I'm just going to make this the biggest shawl I've ever made. And this is my progress. It's beautiful. I love it. It's everything that I think that I want in a shawl right now. It's blue. It'll go with my wardrobe. And it's in this new bag that I purchased by um, Simply. Simply. There you go. Simply Pretty Bags on Etsy. It's the perfect bucket bag. Um, I guess life stuff now. Um, everyone's doing good. Fall is in full swing. Spooky weather and Halloween's around the corner. I started working part-time. That's been an adjustment because I'm expecting baby number two in February. Yay! We found out in May. And it's been awesome. And I'm so happy for Henry to have a sibling um, and experience his first Halloween and his, fir and his first birthday soon. He's born in December. December 4th is his birthday. He's 10 months right now and he's doing fantastic. It amazes me how fast he's grown and how much he's learning everything now and getting into things. Um, his favorite thing is putting things in a pumpkin that my mom got him. So he'll pick up the things and put it in the pumpkin and start laughing. And it's so cute. So that's the big update. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? I've been trying to sew a quilt. A jelly roll quilt. Using a tutorial that I found on... YouTube like you do everything else um, so that's going very very slowly it's over there on my sewing table jelly rolls off of green fairy quilt again I'll put it in the down bar and I'll put it on the screen um, trying, trying to make a quilt that's going really slow. I haven't done any spinning. I want to. I keep wanting to learn to spin more consistent yarn. I, my wheel's over there in the corner. It's just been there for months now. Um, what else? Quilt. 
Oh, I've been trying to learn how to make myself some more project bags because Etsy is a murder on your wallet. Um, so I'll link to a project bag tutorial that I found. I haven't tried it out yet. I have some fabric in my fabric stash too that I need to use up. Oh, I found my uh, knitting list. Hold on. It's in this bag. So, I have it in here. And this came with my bag purchase from Alex Collins Designs years ago. Like six years ago, I purchased one of her bags. And it came with a little notebook. And I've had the little notebook ever since. So in here is my list. And I have... 19 I have to add it in there but it'll be 19 projects that I want to finish just I guess for the year and I have the date on when I start and when I finish so it's like tangible Ravelry um, so yeah that's it I'm gonna start on my new color work soon after I use all my yarn I have I still have my two Ikea bags full of yarn, and I'm pairing it with my um, patterns that I have in my library that are in my room with the, with the yarn. And I like to substitute yarns, too, because I don't use the called-for yarn in the patterns ever. Because why? Why? Um, it's expensive, and they might not have the colors that you want, and you can just use what you have and just be happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope everyone has a good October and November and December. Um, get lots of crafting done, drink lots of tea and coffee. Alright, bye-bye.